somebody's either having a really good day or a really bad day. Back in 2012, I used to work for this oil field company. It didn't treat me very good. It wasn't a, a very well run company. And I suffered some injuries and it was kind of like one of those deals where, uh, you know, we weren't supposed to be reporting things. I finally feel like I can kind of come up for air and breathe a little bit, you know? So I'm gonna take advantage of this and I'm going to get my hernia surgery. Well, that surgery happens on Monday and this is gonna be my last fishing trip before I get under the knife. It's gonna be six weeks before I'm able to come out and do any more fishing. And unfortunately, that's gonna be during a kind of a prime time of year. A little nervous about it. I'm definitely not looking forward to not being able to fish for the next two months. Yeah, I don't have a hook on my line. I lost it yesterday and I completely forgot about it. I'm gonna go back to the truck and hope that I have just an accidental hook lying around somewhere. So I'll be right back. Oh, I know we have to have one here somewhere. No freaking way. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna make this the one hook challenge. I've got one hour. Uh, we have a doctor's appointment in an hour. I to that. I've got one hook. Let's see if we can catch one fish. <laughs> that will make my day. That will make me happy. Then lay me. Lullabies, I've used my time Now lend me to the ocean Sing my songs when I'm gone All of a sudden that wind picked up pretty good It's kind of cold for a boy in this afternoon So we're on the boat <laughs> I had some nibbles down there. I didn't get a full bite. Uh, you know, I, yeah, you understand. That wind was heinous. The wind is heinous. We got this cold front blowing through, and it's just, man, it's rough. It was blowing the, it was blowing my cork right back up onto the rocks, and we got this doctor's appointment. So I ran out of time. Challenge failed. I was not able to meet the task of a one hook. Uh, one hour challenge. Maybe we'll try that again. Let me know in the comments if I should do that again. All right, so that whole thing I was doing yesterday was a total failure. The wind, the cold front, everything just sucked. That wasn't very much fun, but I didn't want to just end it like that. So Rich and I are headed back out here to Packer Channel right now. And we're going to see if we can't uh, redeem the failure that was yesterday and get a, you know, maybe get a few sheep's head for dinner tonight.
We got dinner. That's the important thing. So many popping corks are lost out here. If somebody wanted to make some money. They could come down here and suffer through the cold conditions and the wind, come collect all this tackle and sell it on eBay. Oh, that felt good. We so made up for yesterday. <laughs> it sucked so bad, but man, we got a couple of days worth of dinner now, and I think I want to try that sheep's head sashimi that lady was talking about. That sounded really good. This dude's got the best shark rig in Texas. Yeah. Kind of puts our whole sharkathon thing to shame. We're not we're not quite at that level yet. <laughs> All right, that was super awesome. I almost called it in yesterday morning. I was super done after that cold front blew in. It just wasn't working for me, but I'm glad. I stuck it through, we stayed another day, I went out this morning and Rich and I just killed it. Wasn't able to get all that on video, but I was having a lot of fun. I wanted to make sure that we were gonna end this right. So while I was out there, I don't know if you could hear or not because the wind was like really bad. I haven't seen the video on any of this yet, but when I caught one of those sheep's head, there was this lady who was telling me all about how she loves doing sheep's head sashimi. As you know, I like to uh, get creative with uh, the fish that we eat and the things that we do. So I'm gonna try some sheep's head sashimi right now. As you know, in order for us to do a little sheep's head sashimi, well, we first have to have a little bit of a filet montage. Here we go. I just woke up with a feeling A choice to make and to believe in Rest my case, I hope you see it So hear me out, I'll keep on dreaming Cat hates fish, but he loves attention. Adrian, hey. Oh, you're gonna eat it now, huh? All right. Maybe, maybe I learned him. <laughs> and that. That's a solid bowl of meat, man. And that's one day. We had several days like that. Alright, got this all ready. Who's ready for some sheep's head sushi? Okay, so I did not just fillet up the sheep's head. I actually filleted that guy up a little over a week ago. Since we're not going to be cooking it, I have some concerns about parasites and bacteria, and the only way that I can really take care of that with raw meat is to freeze it. Now, the other good news associated with that, since it's been over a week, you may or may not have noticed, I had the surgery. I am up and walking around and I am feeling really, really good. The doctor said I can't carry anything over the size of like a gallon of milk. Very special thanks to my lovely, beautiful, and wonderful wife, Rachel, for taking care of me the last week and for the next couple of weeks. What do you say we go ahead and dig into this sheep's head sashimi? I'm actually really excited about this. I've been waiting all week for it, and now is my opportunity to finally dig in and see how it is. All right, I've got my slab of meat here. I'm gonna go ahead and dress that guy out a little bit better, plus the cat is circling behind me. He knows that Adrian got a little bit of meat the other day. Isn't that right, Ash? Would you like some fish? Would you like some sheep's head sashimi? So how'd it turn out? How many paws do you give my sheep's head sashimi? How many paws up? He can't talk right now, he's kind of busy. Okay, so first things first, I've washed this down, got a beautiful piece of meat. So, leave this little guy, and Ash is still begging, so you can have that scrap. Now we're gonna dress it out onto our little plate here, make it look pretty for the purposes of our video. And this one of course goes 
the ash again. Maybe give me a big thumbs up for treating the cat so nice, you know, just a thought. <laughs> Okay, so obviously I'm trying way too hard to make that look fancy and I don't know what I'm doing. I will improve at that this year, okay? This whole year I'm going to work on doing sushi for everything and I'll work on my presentation and study up on the style. So there's my overall presentation. Let me know what you think down in the comments below and uh, if you would be interested in trying some sheep's head sashimi, I'm going to go ahead and take a taste right now and see how it turns out. We're going to try this first little guy right here. We're gonna do that just straight up normal raw, cause you kinda need to get a, you know, taste of the fish without anything in the way, so. Hmm, I'm not gonna lie, that's a little fishy tasting. Like, it's not bad, but it's just not amazing. I also will we'll sushi out my amberjack, and I would say that sheep's head is probably right up there with amberjack. It's not amazing, but you can definitely sushi it. I think we're going to continue trying sushi and sashimi, some of these other guys. We're going to have some fun with this. Hey, thank you so much for joining me on this entire endeavor. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I cannot wait to catch you in the next one.